This is a boat launch in Tawasan. Uh, in case you saw this one on the map, um, I want to show you what's here. On the map it doesn't show you much uh, except that's a boat launch. I used to launch on the other boat launch on the river road, the ferry road in Tawasan Delta and that one is a better launch for larger boats. Uh, this one it's a bit tricky. Uh, there is a sudden drop right where that boat is and if it's at the low tide then uh, likely you won't be able to launch a larger boat. Um, with a little boat uh, you will have to go pretty far uh, past that uh, pavement line where you see a sudden drop. So if your trailer is very heavy and uh, if this area is loaded with mud, if you don't have a four-wheel drive uh, on your truck or uh, you did not activate the four-wheel drive, then it's very difficult to pull the trailer out. Then your boat is going to be in the current. You see the Fraser River, uh, there is a current there and it's a tricky launch. So I don't recommend this one at low tide. Uh, you see the water levels go all the way here. So when it's high tide, that's okay. You have like a two meter uh, difference, level uh, difference in the, or maybe more. And uh, you have plenty of uh, space to launch your boat, have the trailer only probably up to here. And uh, you are away from the Fraser River current. But if it's a low tide, uh, you better try the other launch, which is uh, up the stream, up the river, maybe uh, five, six kilometers away. It's not that far. Uh, people use that one and they get into the Stiftson Channel, which is just across this island. And um, it's, a, it's a much of a safer, safer place. And uh, this is less busy because of uh, the tricky launch but I use this one because uh, I can find a trailer parking spot much easier than Port Moody I drove all the way from Port Moody and there was no, no spot for my trailer and I didn't want to park into a gravel area where it doesn't say it's a city uh, parking but everything was full and there was a lineup Yesterday was a lineup at the launch. Luckily, I found a parking stall trailer after 5 p.m. So, Port Moody is more for uh, those who want to hang around the uh, Belkara, Indian Arm, uh, those uh, city boys. Uh, if you want uh, some ocean stuff, uh, maybe fishing, yeah, use the other one, the, uh, the one on the ferry road. You need to have a uh, you need to have a, a chart or at least a, some sort of a GPS and light when you come back from the ocean. Uh, you need to find your way back if you are not familiar with the area. Uh, it, a number of channels you might get lost. Uh, I took a wrong turn at some point and I uh, was uh, just navigating a channel and I realized that. It dead end to a marina and okay go back and try another one and look at my cell phone a uh, google earth imagery uh, google maps uh, see and i forgot forgot was the name of the boat launch <laughs> and uh yeah it was a, was a bit of a tricky uh, adventure but that was my first time then uh, i i started to carry uh, charts and uh different type of maps and uh, mark my uh, waypoints, my launch, my uh, boys and stuff like that. So the river is a bit high, even it's a low tide. Uh, you see uh, some debris, uh, not much, but still uh, doesn't make the 
boating very pleasant these days. The murky water, high current, and um, yeah, it's um, not a good day for just uh, killing time on the water, cooling down, fishing, not too windy today. But um, it's not always like that. It's, uh, a bit rougher on the water, on the open ocean, on the Georgia Strait, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward for my adventure. So this is about this boat launch in the was under area. It's not for everyday boating. See you later. Bye bye.